Very difficult to discover or unearth self-righteousness in our own hearts. You may be here this morning and say, you know, he's not talking to me. I'm not, self, I'm not self-righteous. Let me just give you this little litmus test. You ever looked at a group photo of which you are in? Who's the first person you look at? <laughs> just asking, right? It's church. Don't lie, right? Who's the first person you look at? Group photo, there's 20 people. Who do you look at first? You. Not only do you look at you, but you know what you say? How do I look? And this is what we do. If we look good, then what do we say about the picture? Ah, it's a great picture. (laughs) That is a great picture. I don't care about the other 19 people, what they look like. They all have severed heads, but that's okay. Look at me, right? That's a good picture. And the opposite is true as well. If we look bad, if we're squinting, if we have our eyes closed, if we're looking away, we immediately say, oh, that's a bad picture. It all revolves around our own assessment of our own self. And this is exactly what we do with religion. On the one hand, our relationship with God is so profound, so meaningful, so enriching, so liberating. We have been gifted Grace. We've been gifted redemption, gifted forgiveness. And we love that. We've been gifted eternal life. And so one of the first things we do is latch hold of that and then immediately cleave the world into two camps, the godly and the ungodly. And boy, we would never be on your side because God has liberated me and changed me and graced me and blessed me. And so we default, and suddenly we do exactly what the original disciples did. They were constantly saying, Jesus, you can't go to the other side. Those are ungodly people. And Jesus loved loading up his boat and going right in the middle of all the ungodly people. Why is that? And why is it so difficult for us? Why is it so hard for people of oppositional political parties to consider anything of value in the other side? Why is it so difficult for races to consider the merits and the beautiful creation that God brought to the world through diversity? Why are we constantly dividing the world into the us's and the them's? This is exactly what Jesus was dealing with. And for some reason, somewhere along the line in Christianity, we've decided that disliking the ungodly is part of the job description of being a Christian. And yet Jesus said the best way to distance yourself from your God is to be self-righteous. Over and over and over. Born out of the New Testament, ancient wisdom in Proverbs 16, 5, the Lord detests, oh, that's a strong word, the Lord detests All the proud of heart. Be sure of this. They will not go unpunished. I know that's a little scary. That's a little Old Testament right here. But that says how important this is to God, right? The proud of heart. That's self-righteous. And so one day, Jesus had kind of had enough of people saying, stop it with the other side. Just stop it. Just stay here among your buddies and your peers and everybody that's real super religious. And Jesus says, I got to wrestle with this. The fastest way, the furthest way to separate them from God is self-righteousness, and they don't get it. So Jesus decided to do what he often does. He tells them a parable. Luke 18, starting with verse 9, Jesus told this parable to who? To certain people who had convinced themselves that they were righteous and who looked on everyone else with disgust. Jesus told this parable to every Democrat who has ever thought they were so right. And all those Republicans were crazy. And Jesus told this parable to every Republican who was so convinced of their own righteousness that they thought every Democrat was completely goofy. And Jesus taught this to every race that thought another race was somehow substandard and that their race was better off. Jesus taught this to every spouse who thought, I got it all figured out, and if only my spouse would toe the line, we could figure this out. Jesus taught this to certain people who thought, convinced of their own righteousness, that they had become disgusted, disgusted. See, our disgust level, it's okay to have differences. God created them. It's okay to talk about differences, but once we go to DEFCON disgust, and once we get at that level, nothing separates us further and faster from God. God. 